Hey guys, Ashley Seeger here, and most of you guys know that I've been injured the past year. And so the next few weeks, I am going to be training a little extra harder, uh, leading up to some few events that I have planned. And first event is the Spartan Sprint and Cast Egg. Now it's just a sprint, I understand that, but it's gonna be my first race, really racing to earn a top spot. And the next day we're doing the 12 hour hurricane heat. So for those of you that don't know what the hurricane heat is, it's a more of an endurance event, uh, teamwork, some individual stuff, heavy carries, a lot of time on the feet and so what I'm doing is going to be stepping up my training my training has been awesome but now just really staying diligent with it and with my nutrition and hydration so uh, the next few weeks leading up to that we have about five weeks until that event and um, you know every event and every training session that I have is leading up to my ultimate goal which is Fuego y Agua in Nicaragua uh, in March so uh, a lot of time on feet some you know serious mountain climbs I need to get used to steep terrain uh, and and just being on my feet for 30 plus hours so we're gonna be doing uh, TPK in January which is gonna be hard and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be a, a big event and then uh, it leading up into March so these events everything that I'm doing is leading up to that bigger event and, and in that time getting a lot of training and, and this weekend I'm doing a, a century ride which uh, I signed up for a while ago and, and not too excited about but I'm gonna do it and so um, what I've been told that it's good mental training and getting used to being on a bike for eight plus hours who knows however long it's gonna take me to do a hundred to 130 miles on a bike but if my body could handle that if I'm feeling properly it's great training good mental training and good training to work on my nutrition for these longer events so like I said everything that I'm doing is leading up to that one big goal um, and then after Fuego it's it's on for world's toughest mudder next year and, and if all goes well I'll be doing a, a lot of ultra beasts next year and and the endurance stuff is my jam I love it I love being out there for eight plus hours and anything under that is fun but I really like to get into into a little bit of deeper place uh, in those longer events so um, for those of you that are not familiar with endurance events, they're super awesome, and um, you know that's what I what I like. The shorter distance stuff is not my favorite stuff, but I have to start somewhere. And um, you know, even just doing a turkey trot on Thanksgiving, getting in that race mode again, and and working on my speed and seeing what my body's capable of doing. So I have I have great people, great support um, for the next events that I'm doing. I have a great team of clients that I've been coaching and that has also been amazing and inspirational. Uh, so follow along. I'll be posting uh, weekly on what my training's looking like, my nutrition. Um, of course, it's not going to be 100% all the time, but I am motivated and I'm super put, like super inspired right now. I've been watching a lot of videos on uh, on these races and on these events and I just I get butterflies thinking about it and and I want you guys to be a part of and I want to show people what I'm doing uh, to get there and all the hard work you know and you know I teach three to four cycle classes a week I teach yoga and and on top of that I'm doing you know 25 plus miles to start off with and eventually my mileage is gonna increase and it's gonna be up to 40 to 50 miles a week but right now working on building up that mileage and time on my feet whether it's running or hiking or rucking I'm getting used to being on my feet getting used to some weight on my back and um, you know in addition to everything that I do already I have to increase because my body's already adapted to that so what I do might be a lot for someone else but what I do for myself is different so everybody's training is different so you can't just follow a cookie cutter plan you have to adapt to what's best for you um, and, and increasing your mileage when necessary when you feel good or adding weights whatever so um, yeah I look forward to sharing this experience with you guys so please uh, if you have any questions, if you want to see specific things, I, I want you guys to ask, and I'm w more than willing to share what I'm doing. So, um, check in. Um, I'll, I'll be posting. Make sure you subscribe so you get the updates when I am updating you guys, and uh, follow the Instagram stories and Instagram, and uh, on Facebook, I'll be posting occasional updates as well. So, hopefully, I'll see you guys at the next race, and I will talk to you soon. Oh my God.